Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about um, doing it yourself. You can do it. You can. Um, and we're here to help. So um, what about getting a little crafty? I think a lot of us have that in us, um, but we're not really sure what to do with it. You know, you'll see something in a magazine, and you're like, oh, I totally want to do that. Well, um, scarves are all the rage still, and they really can change up an outfit. And here to show us how to make your own scarves and decorate them, and, and they're beautiful, um, is Amy Pope. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, tell me, how did you get into this whole thing? Uh, well, I was a student at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and I had a hand-painted fabrics class from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So we did this all day, and it's highly addicting. So I just have a lot of fun. I do, can do it in my basement or in the kitchen. It's very easy. So it's just a fun thing to keep doing. You know, I for me, I'm, cooking is a stress reliever. That's the thing mm -hmm. where if I get into my kitchen, I forget about everything else. Um, and there are that's for you crafters. That's kind of what it's all oh, about, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, definitely painting. And painting on silk especially is like yoga. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's what I hear. Um, and scarves are still, I mean, they really can make an outfit pop. It's you know? so easy. And people say to me all the time, I don't know how to wear scarves. I'm not a scarf person. But if you can just put on black pants and a black shirt, and throw in a scarf, you're good. And I, bet I think it's the easiest thing. I bet wherever you go, people, you know, no matter what the scarf is, that's the first thing people, oh, I love that scarf. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And I was just in Italy in May, and 90% like of the women wore scarves mm -hmm. with tank tops and shorts or dresses. It didn't matter how casual or how dressed up you were. Everyone had on a scarf. Very European. It's really easy. Yes, yes, yes it is. Yes. Okay, so um, painting scarves. First thing we did is we went to, we got some, just some um, white silk. Just silk, yep. Okay, and, and did you cut it into strips? Well, yes, or and you can hand sew the edges. Okay. Um, there are some places that you can order them online. It's cheaper. If you oh, it's just, already done for you. Yes. Oh, yes. that's there. Let's sign me up for that. Yes. So you can go yes. online. Basically, and just get you can order plain white silk scarves. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Or it's much cheaper if you order the fabric and then sew them yourselves. Okay. But then um, remember when like in kindergarten you did those little projects with crayon and then you would paint with watercolor mm -hmm. and that's called a resist. This is just the grown up version of that. So you've got these things that look like uh, they're just picture frames or what are they? These are their canvas stretchers okay. and you can buy them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever in the artist supply section. Um, they're really cheap. I left the price tag on. They're 81 cents. 81 cents. That's I can afford one. that. And you just need something you could even make it yourself, make your own little wooden frame, something to stretch the silk. Because if the silk was sitting on the on the ground like this, it the, your dye would spread all over the place. So, so you want it pretty tight. Is. Yep. And, and these are just little, they're kitchen clips okay. actually. And I just pulled them and, and tacked got them on with little some push pins here. Push just pins. to kind of, basically yep. you're stretching it is what yes. you're doing. That's so that's all you need to now, do. Now, what kind of paint? This is actually our resist. This is called Gouda, okay. like the cheese, okay. but with a T. Um, and it just acts as a resist, because if you painted, if you painted on silk with nothing, it spreads, Okay. which is okay. Right. And sometimes I have scarves where I do that too, but sometimes you want to control where the paint's going to go. So it's kind of like the border. It's absolutely the border. It, okay. it stops it, and it, it goes on like paint. And Gouda comes in all kinds of colors. I. I just uh, took the copper with me today just so you could see it Pretty well. fall color though. But mm -hmm. you can do it, yeah, you can, it comes in clear and it kind of, when it dries, it dries like glue. You know, if you make glue pictures when you're a kid, it just, it feels like that. So this one is all dry. Okay. And now you and I'll go show to fill you. in, is that yep. how that works? Okay. It's basically just a fill in method and it's so easy. These are fabric paints. Okay. They, they act and they look just like watercolor. Um, they're very thin. Did you add anything thin. to them? No, nope, nope, you can. You can add water to make the color lighter, but you don't have to. Okay. You can use it just like it comes out of the jar. But um, do you trust me? They absolutely are fabric paints. Oh, please go are for you it. Sure? I, I, yeah, I, I cook, and but then, I'm not crafty. No, but, no, no. This okay. is easy. Look, you put the little the little paint in there, and it'll spread because it's silk. And you just then kind of dab, huh? Yep. You keep going, and then that gouda is stopping the paint from going into the next section. And then if you want to get really fancy, can I add some yes. to yours? So you go like that and maybe blend some colors together. Cool. Yeah. 
Oh, I and mean, this is fun. It's very fun. Like I said, it's highly addicting. It's, you, I mean, once you do one scarf, then you're going to want to say, you know, I want to do one in blue. I want to do one in pink. And then it ups, you get obsessed. Let it dry. And then you what totally next? totally let it dry. And then you heat set it with an iron. Okay. That's key. That's key because the, the paint uh, will, will not stick to the scarf when it gets wet if you don't heat set it. Okay. So you heat set it. And then you rinse it. And then the Gouda will just come out with, with water, and you rinse it under your sink, and it, it just washes away. Really? And then you have wow. this. This one wow. I did with a black colored Gouda. Oh, is that neat? I mean, you'd pay big bucks for something out there. You know, <laughs> and the neat thing is, is that you did it yourself. Well, you know? and you have this great piece of art that right. you can wear. And right. what's better than that, I, I love think. Great gifts, too. You know, yes. we're all watching our pennies, so, and I think yep. gifts from the heart. I would take that any day. Absolutely, you know? and I've done these with kids, like we've made them with kids. We gave them to their moms for Mother's Day, and what mom doesn't love that? Absolutely, right. yeah. So yeah, it's, it's fun and it's easy if you have the right things. Thanks for sharing, Amy. You're so what welcome. a blast. Uh, yeah. I might want to try this. I know my daughter will. She's the, she's oh, yeah. the crafty one. Really All appreciate it. Right.